<laughs> Listen, we can't ignore Prince Andrew on the front page of uh, all the papers this morning after his alleged £12 million settlement with uh, Virginia Giuffre. Um, it's rumoured the Queen may be contributing £2 million of her own money, which would be a donation to Virginia's charity. Um, it's not clear, of course, where the rest of the cash will come from. Um, Lots and lots of calls within the press today, Linda, saying we need to know, we as the public have a right to know, the palace have a duty to tell us. Do you think we've got a right to know? Well, I do think we should know if it's public money. I mean, if it's money coming out of their banks, then that's fair enough. Um, then they should be paying for it. I don't think the public... I don't think we should be using our money to pay for what he's allegedly done. It's just very confusing really to know what is their money and what is our money because clearly all of their money comes from inheritance to a certain yeah, yeah. extent and we are invested in the royal family. I mean, Denise, do you think we've got a right to know? To be honest, <clears throat> I, would, I, I would put money on the fact that the Queen is bailing him out of this. Where that money comes from, I don't really care. I've got to be so... You know, last time I spoke about... Prince Andrew on this show. The online press go, Denise Wilder says she has personal beef with Prince Andrew. If I said that, that makes me like Alan Partridge to say that I have personal beef with Prince Andrew. <laughs> I have had run-ins with him before. I don't like him very, very much. I just find it very, very odd that for someone he doesn't know, he's paying her 12 million quid. Well, I mean, um, he's admitted he's no wrongdoing, of well, course. We have to be clear. Yeah, OK. So, the, I, I suppose, and you pointed out this to me earlier, <clears throat> that if I have beef, it is of the media portrayal, because I know I stand up for Harry <laughs> and Meghan in a sea of people who don't, but Prince Harry is constantly berated, challenged, criticised for bringing um, the, this burden of heartache onto the Queen in her later years. And yet... And yet, here is the Queen bailing Andrew out of this situation. Yeah, but you're confusing the media the two do separate not, things there, Denise. Care. I don't care what it is. The That's Queen has I never slagged so off angry. Harry. I mean, you know, she has never. She's never said anything untowards about Harry. What the she's media what does... Harry has she done thinks is affectionately about... Anyway, it's not about Harry. We're not talking about Harry, are we? I'm talking no, about how well, the media so... still don't give, still blame Harry for absolutely everything and seem to divert their attention but, but away that, from that is Andrew's the media. I mean, what we're talking it about is, is the, the royal media. family. Well, I mean, do you think that this <clears throat> has diminished trust in the royal family, Carol? I, why do we have to trust them? They're the royal family. I just want them to be <laughs> there. I don't care, actually, what what is going on with them because we don't, don't actually care. know. No, because the point is, Kay, we do not know. The speculation that surrounds the royal family is rife. It always has been. And they never apologise, they never explain. They never tell you anything, so you don't know. You don't know where the money's coming from and you ask, you know, do we have the right to know where the money's coming from? Do we have the right not to want to know? Because I don't care where it's coming from. It's, <laughs> if it's the public money or, or, or if it's any money. We don't even know it's 12 million, do we? We don't know that. Do you that think what Andrew should be stripped of his titles? Are you bothered about that, that he remains Prince Andrew? I think we'll always call him Prince Andrew, whatever. But... Well, it, look, we don't know. We still don't know what happened, do we? Don't actually know, because... He went won't... to visit no, Jeffrey Epstein when Jeffrey be... Epstein... No, everybody <coughs> went to visit already bloody been... Epstein. Every single celebrity, almost. No, what I'm saying earth. is that when There's Jeffrey Epstein had seen already the been accused seen the and found guilty of child sex offences, Andrew went... That wasn't a mistake. That was a journey he well, made he to has, visit he has, a convicted he has, child Hang on, abuser. he has apologised for his matter. friendship with Jeffrey with Epstein. It, yeah, exactly. But that is the extent of it. And he has made a settlement. Um, we don't know exactly how much it is. And it has gone to Virginia Geoffrey's um, charity. Yeah, and good. That Very is all that we know. I mean, to a that's extent, right. And there's no day in court... So we'll never know. We'll but never even know. if there had been, we would never have known yeah. anyway. Because but the those thing is, we have... always he says, she says, and it's who you yeah. believe. So you know, can we drop it now? Yeah. Well, we are going to drop it. But I was just going to say, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to drop it. Oh, what a heated debate! Thank well, you. I mean, it is about transparency. We demand transparency of yeah. everyone now, which is a good thing. But let's be realistic. The royal family, if you go back centuries, like every single family, has had no scandal good. run yeah. through it. I mean, absolutely. But up until a certain point in history, they were able to employ the the that you say, Carol, we say nothing, and the press stood back. But now back. with social media now the and press breaking isn't news prepared to. No, yeah. they're not. The press behaves very differently. Have we got off to a good start there, Denzi? Yeah, loved it. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs>